one giant dartboard. The challenge, to find the smartest hornet. Welcome to How Smart Are The Hornets with Stake.com. Four players and two Watford legends will compete head to head across three heats in a 10 question quiz as we search for the smartest hornet. For each answer, they must, within 10 seconds, kick a ball at a giant inflatable dartboard. Whoever gets the most points in their heat will go through to the How Smart Are The Hornets grand finale and have the chance of winning the Smartest Hornet trophy. Your contestants for Heat 1 are Tom Cleverley, Dan Gosling, are you ready for this? Yeah. Here's the rules, you're going to get 10 questions. When I ask a question, you've got to say your name. You've got to say your name loud. You'll then be able to answer the question. If you get the question right, you get to have a go on the dartboard over there. We're going to add up the score's highest score wins. Let's make this competitive. You ready to go? Let's go. Question number one. In which Italian city was first team coach Claudio Ranieri born? Gosling. Go Parma. On. Where? Parma. No. <laughs> Cleverly. Go on. Naples. No. Cleverly. Rome. Go on, Cleverly. Here we go. Ten seconds. <laughs> oh, I think. I, I mean, I guess I'm in charge here. Are you saying eight? Eleven. Come on. That's that's eleven. Triple eleven. I don't think I can give you the treble for that. I'm going to give you 11. Tom's on 11. Tom's in the lead. OK, question number two. Which music megastar played gigs at Brickeridge Road in 1974, 2005? Cleverly. Go on, Tom. Elton John. Go on. It's a 13. 13, very good. Happy with that? That was so easy as well. <laughs> yeah, I shanked it a bit, but... That was an easy question, Dan. You should have got that one. Yeah. Tom's on 24. Dan, you're going to have to start hitting doubles, trebles. You need to catch up here. It's all good. Early in the game. All right, question number three. Harry Barton holds the record for most goals scored in a game for Watford. Six in 1903 against the Chair Boys. My question for you, which team are the Chair Boys? Oh, boys. <laughs> you have to start guessing. Cleverly. Luton. No. Gosling, Ipswich. No. I'm Gosling, Charlton. <laughs> no. Chair um, boys, I've never heard of it. Gosling, Stevenage. No. Cleverly, Blackpool. No. Um, Gosling, Wickham. Got it. Here we go. Here we go. Debut on the dartboard. Oh, I thought he thought got ball. What are we calling that? Eight. Hey, boys, you're going to need the whiteboard for this one, okay? Write down your answer. Closest answer wins, okay? Here we go. In meters, how high is this dome? What, the middle part, yeah? It's hard to work out as well, isn't it? I mean, start with yourself. If you know how tall you are, work out how many of you could potentially get to the top there. All right, we've got answers. Dan, you go first. 100 meters, okay. <laughs> okay, 70 meters. <laughs> Boys, the answer is 22 metres. Yeah, on your way, Tom. <laughs> oh, it's right in the middle. I was praying this wouldn't happen. Who's actually give you that answer? Do you not believe what? it? What? I was trying to visualise. I was trying to visualise running the 100 metres. Yeah, so was I, and that looks uh, 100 metres, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but the biggest decision is, what do I award that as? I mean, to me, that looks more seven than yeah, it's 16. A seven. That's a seven, yeah. I'm an honest But you guy. would say that? Yes, yeah, it's, it's a seven all day long. Yeah. Okay, yeah. fine, fair play. All right. Still in the lead, Tom. Okay, here we go. Name two current Watford players whose surname starts with an S. Gosling. Saar. Sierra Alta. Yes, come on, mate. <laughs> oh, you can't miss them. You can't miss them, Dan. No score. Oh, that's, that's disappointing. That's cool, you, do you know what it was? You were so quick on the answer. He's going for the double, double 19. Oh, mate. OK. Name the celebrity Watford fan, born in Watford on 15th of October, 1989. Broke his school's 100 metre record with a time of 11.6 seconds. Took up the sport he's known for when he was 18. Cleverly, One... Anthony Joshua. Here he comes. Oh, I thought we got it right in the middle. It's, it's annoying because it was a great shot, but it's uh, it's only a three out of that. Here we go, lad. Whiteboard needed again. 
Write down your answer. Closest is going to get a chance to go for the dartboard. Here we go. Graham Taylor managed Watford three times. How many games in total was he in charge for? Ooh, Closest man, answer wins on this one. Zero idea. Right. Got it, Dan? I have no idea. 200, 320. Boys, nowhere near. 747. Oh, my Jeez. God. so far, Dan is on eight, and Tom's on 47. So, Dan, let's get some of these trebles. Yeah, don't let's worry, get don't the worry. score up. I think it's coming. It's all good. Um, OK, next question. Question number eight. It's a darts question. If you hit a bullseye, double ten, and a single seven, how many points do you Cleverly. score? Cleverly. Cleverly. Yeah, 77. <laughs> <laughs> it to the bulls, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> 19, that's massive. That. I, I feel for Dan because I feel like this game's just not gone his way, you know? Unbelievable maths, boys. I wasn't, I wasn't aware that you were so good at that. Um, huge. Okay, next question, number nine. Here we go. Who is the highest internationally capped player in the Watford squad? Cleverly. For time fault. Kuka. Yeah, yeah. Time right. fault. Oh no, he got it. He got it. Oh, I mean, it's low, isn't it? Is that? I mean, I think he got a double ball. out of that. I, I think he's. I think he's only gone and got a double. Double seventeen. I think we're we're bordering on sort of possible scores for Dan to come back on. I'm I'm calling double seventeen on that. Right. Listen, the scores are What's Tom. That? You've got hundred so far. Um, you've got eight. I know what you're saying. He was quite delayed on his answer. Um, now, I don't think there's any conceivable way you can win this. No. But there's a bit of pride in it, all right? Here we go. Whiteboard's needed for this one. How many Watford managers played for the club before going on to be manager at Vicarage Road? That's a proper pub quiz question, that. Jeez. Right. You ready, Dan? Yeah. Go on. Three. You're way off again, it's 14. Wow. 14 managers, this, but Tom, you get another go. This is just by default. Well played, 16, big score. Right, the score's at the end of that. Dan, eight, unlucky. Tom, 116, you win. Well done, well mate. Massive result, another massive result. Really, you know. Fair result? Yeah, I think on the day, my knowledge shone through. Humble. And Dan, anything to say? Yeah, it's a tough day at the office. Um, he's a clever guy, what can I say? Yeah, it's, it's in the name, isn't it? There we go. Oh, he's missed again! Why can't he do it? A lot more tense than the last heat that we did. Oh, it's a treble! I hope that's a treble, isn't it? The challenge to find the smartest corner.